This is Mount Everest, the tallest mountain in the world, measuring 29,032 feet. That's like 23 Empire State buildings stacked on top of each other. Climbing this massive stone isn't that simple. There's ice falls, ladder malfunctions, lack of oxygen, and altitude sickness. Every year, 800 people attempt the treacherous 12 and a half mile journey from base camp. But because of the many obstacles, few people actually reach the summit. And if you're crazy enough to want to do all of that, it takes 10 weeks and 100 thousand dollars, neither of which I have. So I've devised the perfect plan. I'm gonna climb Mount Everest in my gym. Equal amount of effort, equal amount of glory. There's other people in the gym right now, but I've just begun my climb, Mount Everest. According to my calculations, if I can complete 300 floors an hour with no breaks at all, then I would get this done in 25 hours. That doesn't include sleeping. This is gonna be so hard. I would not prepare for this. As you can see, this is gonna take a freaking long time, like a concerningly long time. So I brought with some equipment to make sure that this is, you know, safe and that I'm comfortable. My helmet, goggles, I got some food with, sleeping bag, sleeping pad, a chair for when I'm taking breaks. I even brought my Crocs with you guys. So yeah, you could say that I'm completely and totally prepared for this. I hope. All right, I know it looks like I've been climbing this mountain for many, many hours, but I've only been climbing it for 26 minutes. However, I have now climbed 100 floors, and I'm 2% of the way up Everest. I'm between base camp and camp one. What most people don't know about the Everest climb is that getting from base camp to camp one is actually the most difficult part. I severely underestimated the difficulty of this climb, so I tried to convince myself that I was going for a walk in a beautiful city. Let's just say that it didn't work that well. I'm still just on a stair stepper. One day in Paris, we're seeing all the sights. A couple of stops for coffee. It's no big deal. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, this is way harder than I thought it was going to be. I am currently burned about 300 calories. I'm 197 floors up. I basically just climbed multiple Empire States. That's crazy. And I just hit, wait for it, 200 floors. I'm gonna try to stop every 200 floors. It stops for one minute, that's it. 22 seconds. It's not even enough time to set up my chair. Oh my gosh. <laughs> ah, 10 seconds left. I'm not even gonna be able to sit down. Oh. So yeah, I missed my break because this machine resets itself if I leave it for more than one minute. So for now on, I'm gonna be writing down the floors I finish so that I can take an actual break. There's sweat on my face, look at this. That's how much sweat. My shirt is just drenched, watch this. I need to roll. I will burn between 12 and 15,000 calories before reaching the top of Everest. So I literally need to eat like a man-man or else I'll, I'll die. Kinda like in Minecraft. I need to be making some serious progress here. I just finished 350 floors. My legs are dead. It's 1230, I've burned 1,313 calories. This brings me up to 650 floors. Oh, I can't even be funny. This just hurts so bad. My right knee is in a lot of pain. But we push through it, it's just too easy. <sighs> this is Red Shirt Guy, and after being on the stair supper for six hours, it was about time someone asked what I was up to. I'm attempting to climb Mount Everest. Well, I'm almost 700 floors up. Now that I know what you're doing, dude, hats <laughs> off. Good luck, good luck, man. My friends caught wind of my endeavor to climb Everest and decided to do a wellness check-in on me. I got Starbucks coffee, he's got uh, arrhythmia, what's it called? I don't know. Is that like a bad heartbeat or something? I don't know if anyone's ever climbed Mount Everest in uh, Nike Pegasus. I'm pretty sure it's never been done. It smells really bad in here. <laughs> I tried this and it was so easy. Guys, literally the worst experience of my life. I've, I've never experienced anything as bad as what you're doing. Just getting started. Yeah, it looks like it, it looks like it. Too easy on me, too easy on me, too easy on me. It doesn't take many stories for my health bars to go down. It's time for a refill. I'm exactly 750 stories up. It's a freeze-dried sandwich. All crunchy. Apparently Mount Everest is actually pretty hard. <laughs> Every year, about five people die on Everest due to the ridiculous queues to the summit. Lucky for me, there are absolutely no queues for the stair stepper. But that doesn't also mean I won't die. No, really. When they say that the hardest part is between base camp and camp one, they were not kidding. It doesn't help, actually, that I'm just genuinely sore. I ran 40 miles this week, 12 of which was yesterday. And that, my friends, is because 
of the One Inch Marathon. I'm gonna be going for a run on December 18th. Every subscriber I gain from now until then adds one inch to my run. This is how many people have already subscribed. Please, subscribe. Back to work. I'm 75 floors away from camp one. I'm, I'm confident I'll finish this by midday tomorrow. Confident. 1,950 floors. Yeah, I'm beat down. But nothing can destroy the spirit of a too easy member. Unfortunately, there's no Uber Eats on Everest, but there certainly is Pooper Eats with this breakfast scramble. Nonetheless, I can't get picky when I'm 20,000 feet above sea level. It's tough. It's no walk in the park. It's a walk up Everest. No, literally, it's a walk up Everest. I am officially about one third of the way. It sounds like a small feat, but one third is a massive chunk. And if you're familiar with this channel, you might recognize these Crocs from when I ran an actual marathon in them. Croc time, baby. Time to grind. Oh, that knee actually really hurts. Yeah, they're kind of the best shoes on the planet. Crocs, we should like uh, collaborate or something. You know, from what I was reading up online, it's not very good luck to sit and chill at Camp One. Most people spend a couple weeks there to acclimate, but not me. I went right past the other suckers, and I'm just on my way up the mountain. My Crocs were drawing some attention from the outside world, and I was making serious progress. It might be midnight, but I am not stopping. We're like 2,400 floors up Mount Everest. Sweet mama juju. I'm technically not even halfway, and saying it out loud is like the most demoralizing thing. It was time to retire my Crocs and put on the clearly lesser quality shoe, but the signs of 14 hours on the stair stepper were beginning to show as my body was deteriorating with each step. My body is straight up just going through these phases of like extreme pain. My stomach will just randomly feel like I'm about to throw up. And then it goes away after a while. Even though I wanted to keep going, the fatigue was simply too much. I physically could not go a single step further. So it was time to set up camp, but there was just one thing that I had to get off my chest. Literally. Uh, I'm so ready for this moment. Good night. Oh, feels so good. My body hurts in more places than I thought it was physically possible to hurt. I'm in the same clothes as I was wearing yesterday. I'm like physically still wet. This is either the lowest of lows or potentially the highest of highs. I don't know. I can't tell right now. I need to grind, folks. Woo! Baby, got my first 50 in early in the morning. It's early as heck right now, but you know what? If you wanna summit Everest, you get up er early, I think is what they say. I don't think they say that. Big news, folks. I just climbed 100 floors. I'm breaking these up by hundreds just because my legs are just so beat. But guys, I just passed halfway, 3,000. Oh my goodness. It's like 5 a.m. Oh, it's so hard. I'm still on track. Finish it this afternoon. Just gotta stay focused. The rest was paying off. Two hours of sleep is apparently the new eight because I'm absolutely slain. That's my boy. We don't quit. My speed had doubled. I had literally moved the speed from 10 to 20 on the speed thing. On, on the anyways, I was approaching the summit in no time. I am 190 floors away from summiting Mount Everest on a stair stepper in my gym. After leaving camp four, you enter the death zone. And I gotta tell you, they aren't messing around in the death zone. It's for realsies. You have like way less oxygen, which is truly difficult at this moment, even though technically I have the same amount of oxygen. But you know, who's checking? I got the new Prime. It's labeled differently, but honestly it tastes just as good. Good work, Logan Paul. 154s left. I really did think that this idea was gonna be fairly easy. I can confidently say that it was not fairly easy. This is brutalizing my body. Mental fortitude, holy oh, smokes. So, I'm only 400 stories from finishing this hike, and I decided that I better make sure my calculations are correct. And as it turns out, <laughs> they weren't. I had originally calculated how many floors there are in a 12.5 mile hike up Everest, 
But since a floor is measured from the ground to the ceiling, the distance walked on stairs is much greater because you walk diagonally. According to the internet, I've walked way too far, like 28 miles too far. That's right. If I finish this, I will have walked 40 miles, not 12 and a half, meaning I have walked straight into what scientists call the mesosphere, which sounds way cooler than Everest. So I'm not giving up now. I'm all in. I have 100 left. <sighs> It's only 14 minutes, which sounds so easy, honestly, but it's not. I challenge anybody to try to do 14 minutes on stair stepper at 20. You have to go to the level 20. I just want it to be over now. I just want it to be finished now. And even though I've technically gone way too far, I realized it doesn't even matter. I once heard somebody say, find your Everest on a TED talk or something. And honestly, I, I thought it sounded super cheesy. But it makes sense now. This is my Everest, and I am gonna crush it. So many things hurt. So many things hurt. Less than 50 floors left to climb. I'm so close. I'm so close to the finish line, guys. We're almost there. I can't believe it. It's one of the hardest things I've ever done in my life. I'll never do it again, mark my words. The views up here, though, insane. I can see why people come to Everest. I mean, come on. Himalayas, let me tell you. After 29 hours straight of stair stepping, I was going a bit crazy. Remember that? That little ridge. You see the sun peeking out. You see all the Himalayan flags. Oh man, it's so pretty. There's people over there taking a picture. I'll tell you this much though. I am definitely paying for the helicopter package at the top. Two floors left, guys. We're there. I can see it. We're there. Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh. There it is. That's the top. That's the top of Mount Everest. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness.